data, just all of our thoughts, emotions and sensations, they can be likened to a mirage. And so it's tragic, you could say, to, to live life constantly analyzing, efforting, uh, trying to manage what can be likened to, to a mirage and to, to really base one's life on looking at all of these appearances and, and dedicating all of, speaking from my own experience now, dedicating all of my time and energy on trying to maybe get a better looking mirage and get rid of that really ugly one in the distance or maybe right in my face. <coughs> and so the, all of these efforts, the constant management process of, of uh, re rearranging all of these different descriptions, we allow them to be for short moments many times. We allow it all to be as it is. We rely on short moments of open intelligence. And open intelligence you've recognized already as just what's looking and what's sensing, what's experiencing. And so it gets really simple to go back to that when we have the, the pull again of that, that maybe really, really attractive mirage that has in the distance, what is it? It's, it's where all of your thoughts are positive where all of the feelings and the sensations are magical and warm and the tastes, all the tastes are sweet so, and you, you don't get sick of the sweetness. Just constantly sweet, sweet, sweet. That kind of mirage and, and then looking at your experience, what's my experience now? Sour, ugly. <laughs> negative, loud noises, <laughs> all of the wrong things. And so there's that constant effort of trying to make this, whatever this is looking like, just something different, something a bit, a bit closer to, to that ideal circumstance, that ideal thought, emotion, sensation, that ideal experience. And so it's good to see just reality just as it is, to utilize these short moments of open intelligence and just to get real with reality, get real with your everyday life experience and, and know, this, know what uh, your thoughts, emotions and sensations, your data streams actually are, know the nature of your mind as it actually is. And from there we look at all of the solutions and how to be of benefit in the world because there are needed so many solutions in this world. There's needed so much benefit in this world. And yet, from my experience of all of my life, uh, of all of my efforting to really kind of rearrange all of my thoughts and emotions, that's where all of my energy went for the most part of my life, until I was really introduced to the nature of mind as being clear and vast like sky, as being that... Uh, that perfect, that great perfection that I was always striving for right here in this very moment. Recognize what's always perfectly shining bright about you right now. We recognize that this brightness is always on and so there's nowhere any, anymore to really strive for. There's no different set of data streams that we need to look for. Whatever it is, that ugly data stream that loud, sour, <laughs> whatever it is. Maybe it's sweet looking and nice and friendly. Inseparable to that is your brightness. You're always on brightness. Your ability to, to really know all data streams. And so there the focus shifts from our obsession on those mirage-like appearances and how they look, feel, taste, sense. And it, and it shifts more into this always on brightness. And again, from here is where we want to look for our, our energy to really benefit the world. And of course, there's so much around us that is uh, devastating. And to really look and see it all is so powerful. 
we may be sitting comfortably in our chairs right now, but Balance View is a powerful grassroots movement. And when we look around here, all of this really has come about from each of us sitting in these chairs and saying that we want to share this understanding of the nature of mind as a solution to all of the problems that we see. I knew that, you know, I could go out there, for instance, everywhere and give my best at these temporary solutions, I would say. Temporary solutions at best. Momentary solutions here and there. But I really wanted to look and see what can be a lasting permanent solution. What can really, really affect global change, social change. And when I reflected on that and when I was introduced to the Balance View training, I, I saw, okay, this, this, this is something that I really want to give my time and, and energy on. It's something that I immediately saw was a solution for me, for all of my internal oppression, depression, all of my internal suffering. And then gradually I started to see, okay, then this can be a, a complete solution and is a complete solution for, for the suffering that I see uh, going, going on in, in the world. And it starts with each one of us really harmonizing the, directly the nature of mind, really harmonizing and seeing clearly just what the mind is and how, how struggles come about in the world. And I could see it very directly in my experience, see it very directly how it would come about. So an example would be, I would have, uh, again, that unwanted thought or emotion and probably it would come up when I was uh, next to someone another person was in my vicinity <laughs> and and all of a sudden there'd be a, a negative thought or emotion maybe it's something like anger or irritation and then the response for that would be to try and manage it in some way Maybe I say, say it's, it's because of this other person, they're too close to me or something. <laughs> or they said the wrong thing. Or maybe it is because of me, because I have a whole history of um, not wanting to be around people. Or I don't know, all of these different descriptions. And so I, I don't know, there's a, I run away or I say something to them in an inappropriate way. So this was my natural response, natural way of relating to someone. And the, what I saw was that's how very, very simple conflict comes about. A very, very simple struggle comes about just in that very small, simple interaction. And so in reducing this all and seeing how I can really respond to that in a new way, so being introduced to open intelligence now, rely, taking the instruction of relying on short moments of open intelligence repeated many times to see that it becomes continuous all the time. So implementing that instruction in that same example. The next time that I had my negative thought that I was, that came up, the next time I saw that person that where the, all of the irritation came up, relying on a short moment of open intelligence, allowing everything to be as it is, seeing how that thought spontaneously resolved naturally without anything I needed to do about it, effortlessly resolved. Maybe it was the thought of complete fear spontaneously arising again, effortlessly resolving like a line in space. And so from that settled vantage, settled in open intelligence, settled in this always on brightness, is it still on? The power to know? Good, just checking. <laughs> settled in this always on brightness, we know how to respond in a beneficial way. 
And so very simply, that's okay, the solution to firstly my conflict with this other person. <laughs> so one person, done, check. Seven billion to go. <laughs> but we see from that example how effortless it is, how it starts with each of us, sitting in the, these chairs, maybe relaxing, maybe very, very busy. Whatever your experience is right now, it has to start here. And so the four mainstays, the, the short moments of open intelligence, the trainer, the training, the community. This is an example of, of not just resting, but resting and getting busy. We'll invite you to soon to a lunch down at the front there. Many of you have been there before. And you see the direct results of getting busy, harmonious rela re relating in busy circumstances like a a kitchen. We had an event last night here, it was amazing, and I happened to go into the kitchen and there was frying uh, chips, uh, french fries and burgers being created, and amazing display, perfectly harmonious. Th these are situations that I worked in a kitchen when I was 15, 16, 17 for, for a few years, and it was, it was a war zone. <laughs> really and and it, it wasn't a great place to to be in a, a, a most of the time actually i was washing dishes sometimes uh, dodging dishes <laughs> really um all sorts of different circumstances and situations you know g getting to, getting to know myself uh, in such a situation is 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 not a great place without uh, the realization of of open intelligence and so you know seeing a kitchen like that after such an experience that's not just a you know good job that's an incredible feat uh, i would say and and an incredible demonstration of what is possible in this world we may be just a few we may be many, but what an incredible example. Nothing to take lightly. Ex solutions on the fly. And, and so this is what a balanced view is. It's uh, education in the nature of mind and really, really practical ways to implement that in your everyday life. Practical ways that work. Practical ways that engages with with everyone, wherever you are in your life, whatever life circumstances you have. And that's what I find is so completely exciting about this. And uh, it really, really uh, started and, and took off for me. I, I remember nine years ago today being in here in Goa and taking what's called the 12 empowerments. It's a fundamental training here in Balanced View. And from there, really looking at each of my relationships, like I was sharing about, my relationships with things like fear, with things like um, irritation in relating, with things like that make you throw a dish across the room at another person <laughs> or or yell at someone else, or just respond in a way that is, is not really wanted in your own experience. All of these mechanisms, that mechanism of really trying to make something out of a mirage, trying to create something from getting rid of all of these negative thoughts and making them into some, something positive. So looking at this in great detail and harmonizing all of my relationships, harmonizing first the relationship with my own data streams. And so this was a significant, significant um, event, I would say, in my life to do these 12 empowerments and to really, to really do this and see how it's a solution in my everyday life. And just very, very simply, there's an incredible, I love the metaphor in the 12 empowerments, 
which is the, I'll, I'll let you in on, you know, if you haven't done the 12 empowerments, I'll, I'll, I'll share with you one of the metaphors, and maybe you've already heard it, <coughs> but one of them, and it's just full of uh, incredible metaphors, and when I thought, okay, I've heard, heard them all, uh, there won't be more, there was always w one more perfect metaphor to meet me exactly where I was, and to really, really take my understanding and realization further and further. And one was the out outshining, uh, outshining data streams, which we heard in the talk this morning and, and which was asked about and shared about uh, wonderfully. And that is that outshining our data streams, outshining thoughts, emotions and sensations, it can be likened to the sun outshining the planets and the stars. And so under these beautifully clear going skies you can see the stars at night they're all sparkling and you know you can you can really see some of the stars wherever you are and we can liken them to our twinkling data streams that really look maybe really uh, sparkly and interesting and or <coughs> attractive and then gradually we start to see that the sun sun rises in these short moments of open intelligence and outshines like right now, you, could never, you, couldn't, you couldn't see a star if you tried, right? If you look out there. And yet the stars and planets, they're all still shining there, sparkling. And the sun is just so bright and clear. And so in short moments of open intelligence, we see in our own experience how open intelligence shines so bright and so clear. <coughs> the data streams might be twinkling away there, but in our recognition, our short moments, many times, recognizing open intelligence effortlessly, like the sun effortlessly rises. No need to effort for that sun to rise every morning. We see effortlessly these short moments resolve data completely. So what feels like this, like a line drawn in space, effortless, like the equalness and evenness of vast sky. 